Hey guys, it's Ash, and recently I've been trophy pushing with the new strategy which integrates the bowlers. Recently, bowlers got a housing space reduction to 6 units, which now makes using a massive amount of them so deadly. So, many top pushers are now using this strategy, so I'm going to share how I've been using mass bowlers to destroy bases. It definitely took a lot of practice at first to use such a large amount of bowlers effectively in your attack. So, against this uh, pretty much a max defense Town Hall 11 base, uh, we're going to start off with a queen walk at the bottom right here, queen with the healers, to remove a couple of defenses and also that archer queen right there. So right here we have the queen being targeted by three point defenses, so we're going to rage her up right here, remove the cannon, uh, remove the archer tower as well over there, and now we have two point defenses which she should be able to quickly uh, take out. So here. And now she's going to pull in the opposing archer queen, activate her ability, and there goes that archer queen. Nice. It removed all of those point defenses, archer queen. We have the queen now walking towards the left. We're going to place a jump. In comes our clan castle golem, uh, which is also going to distract all of those defenses as our queen also makes her way inside. We're going to create another entry with uh, the jump spell over there. Uh, use wall breakers here. And now we have all of these bowlers with all of these entry points. They can easily funnel in uh, towards the core. Our queen removing all the defenses and buildings at the bottom, allowing our bowlers to focus on that center. Uh, we have all of them at the center right here. We're going to rage up, and this is the perfect time to use that tome against these two infernos, giant bombs. Uh, with the infernos now gone, pretty much right here, uh, our healers can now freely heal all our bowlers inside this core area, which is just perfect. And... Um, I found it funny that his clan's name is also Super Bowler and we're using a Super Bowler strategy with the bowlers and healers. <laughs> now the Eagle Artillery Gun and the other side as you guys can see really weak. He has a bunch of buildings, not much protection there, only a couple of cannons and archer towers. So it's just going to be a piece of cake now to uh, sweep the rest of the base with the massive amount of bowlers that we have. And another 3 star I've had recently was against uh, Town Hall 10. So this was a little bit easier. Uh, we're going to start off again with a queen walk with the healer. She's going to remove these outside structures. And uh, by removing these structures and also these defenses, the archer tower, the two cannons, the expo, wizard tower. She's not only removing defenses and making it easier for us. But she's also creating space right here. So by removing these uh, buildings right here, we can then have our bowlers focus towards the core. So here we're going to drop the earthquake spells, open up all, all four of these compartments, place down our jump spells right here, uh, lots of entry points so we can have our bowlers easily funnel inside, use the golem and the king to shield for them. And uh, here we go, bowlers in, uh, jump spell, and then our queen of course is also going to congregate with them with those healers. Uh, you have the inferno, Giant Bomb, activate the Tome right here, and there goes the Town Hall, the Multi-Inferno. There's still a single target Inferno targeting our Queen, so we're going to have to activate our ability right here. And there goes that Inferno. So both Infernos are gone, uh, the core air defenses are also gone, and that's pretty much, from here on out, it's pretty much a cakewalk with all of these bowlers uh, being healed up by our healers. There's literally nothing this base can do from here on out. So it's just gonna be easy here, three stars. And another very good way I've been utilizing the mass bowler strategy is to first start off with like five or six bowlers on each side with two healers to remove those side structures and have them walk around, uh, then place a jump spell at the center and then have them all then congregate, combine together at that center point and then make their way towards this towards the core. So as you guys can see right here, uh, we have two jump spells, three rage. So we're gonna rage up here. We're gonna poison the clan castle minions, uh, very commonly used. And uh, the main threats to the mass bowler strategy are the infernal towers and eagle artillery. Once you have those three threats gone, it just becomes very easy to uh, three star the rest of the base as long as you have an ample amount of 
bowlers left and uh, some healers. So right here, uh, we still have a raid spell. We pretty much destroyed the core. We have bowlers over there at the bottom with healers. Bowlers at the top with healers. So looking very good. We have the queen targeting the wall here, but she's gonna make her way and remove that air defense. So yeah, from here on out, it's just pretty much an easy three-star raid. Okay guys, let's do a quick live attack here. Um, hmm. Let's start off with the bowlers here. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Then we're gonna place one, two, three, four, five, one, two healers. Place that jump spell right here and spread our central uh, bowlers with the healer, send out our warden. And behind them, send in those wizards. Then we can have our king and queen go inside as well so look at all the buildings those bowlers cleared up that's great we're gonna rate them up right here looking very good and uh, I guess we'll just poison the clan castle troops over here and uh, we just need our troops to now make their way inside there was a giant bomb so we're gonna activate the eternal tome and now we're gonna rage again right here at this core area looking very good uh, we're gonna completely destroy this core, so that's great. We just need to now remove those infernal towers because otherwise they're gonna negate our healing effects. So here, uh, come on, come on. We need the queen to remove the inferno. There we go. Unfortunately, we lost the healers, so we're not gonna be able to three star. So that's the <laughs> main problem with this strategy is that if you don't have the healers, you're not gonna be able to three star. So here, I guess we'll just use the third uh, rage spell and uh, we're gonna get a strong two star so that's something i really love about this strategy is just how easy it is to win even if you can't three star you're gonna get a strong two star if you do it properly so yeah loving the whole high reward and not too much risk of this strategy so I hope you guys like those attacks and really give the mass bowler strategy a shot because it's able to three star many of the anti-valkyrie bases in the current meta so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll try to upload more Clash of Clans content soon as I make my way to Legend and to the top. So I'll see you guys again soon. Later.